last week, Google released a new cybersecurity certificate aimed at people with no IT experience, knowledge, or even a degree. But this is a big claim because people often say you need to have A+, Network+, and a CCNA and a degree before you even learn cybersecurity. Now, I love you all, but you waste no time. So you've been asking me about it since it was released. So I spent my weekend going through this certificate because I'm a hacker man and what else are you gonna do? So in this video, I'll give you my honest and detailed review of this training, which is hosted on Coursera, a paid platform, but you get seven days free trial. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. I work with and mentor a lot of people who are trying to break into cybersecurity or change careers from a different field into cybersecurity. And one of the hardest thing to do is figure out which course and which training that you need to do to break into cybersecurity. So looking at this course, it is actually designed for someone with absolutely no technical experience or a degree. So this course starts off with an introduction to cybersecurity. It tells you what cybersecurity is, and then it introduces two people. They talk about their pathway into cybersecurity and what an entry-level cybersecurity analyst do. And even it shows you a quick day in the life of a security engineer, which I found particularly interesting. It goes over the different types of attacks. It also explains the CISSP different domains and how you can gain knowledge to even pass the CISSP in the future. But the amazing thing about this course is I found that the third module actually goes deep into networking, which is really great news. It means you don't need to do Network Plus or CCNA or A Plus. This course will actually cover everything that you need because the problem with the recommendation that you need to do A Plus, Network Plus and CCNA is that if you just do the exams, it will cost you at least $800 and double that probably for the material, which will come to about $1,600. And it will take you at least one year to finish all of these courses. I mean, sure, you can do them if your goal is to fix computers or work in a help desk. But if you want to work in cybersecurity, there are easier and faster way to do it. I also found that this certificate not only covers the basics of networking and OS and cybersecurity, it actually covers all the modules that you need to pass the CompTIA Security Plus. CompTIA Security Plus is a popular certificate in cybersecurity. So this Google cybersecurity training and certificate will cover all the five modules that you need for Security Plus. Not only that, if you actually finish this certificate, you will get a discounted voucher for Security Plus, which makes it the perfect combination for a foundation and an introduction to cybersecurity. But that's not even my favorite part about this certificate. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's continue with the course. It actually goes through a really important topics of assets, threats, and vulnerabilities. These are really important cybersecurity topics that I love to ask about in interviews, even for like senior cybersecurity consultants and senior engineers. And you'd be surprised how many people don't even know these topics. So the fact that you're getting to learn this at an early stage of your career is a massive win for you. But my most favorite part of the course was a very pleasant surprise. I found that this course actually have labs and hands-on components. You will not only learn about what Linux and operating systems are, you'll actually get to practice Linux. You'll get to run live command lines on a lab, which will give you invaluable practical skills. You will also get to learn about SQL and how to run SQL queries. And by the end of it, you will even learn some programming and you will learn how to automate cybersecurity tasks using Python, which is an incredible skills for a security analyst. You would be surprised how many security analysts that I interview who know nothing about Python or SQL or Linux. So this is an extremely valuable skill. Now, the final part of this course was actually very surprising because it teaches you how to create a portfolio of practical projects that you worked on. It explains to you the importance of why you need such a portfolio, how to create something on GitHub, how to showcase your talent, showcase your hands-on skills, which is crucial in getting hired in your first cybersecurity role. I actually interview candidates who have years of experience in CISSP, and as soon as I ask them practical questions, they start to fall apart. It's one thing to memorize topics and memorize multiple choice questions and answer. It's quite a different story to be able to do things practically. Cybersecurity is a very practical hands-on career. You can't just theorize your way through it. You have to do things with your hands. You have to practice. And this course will not only give you a chance to practice, but it will also show you how to package that practice into a portfolio that will help you to land a job, which is really the goal of this course. They also teach you how to prepare for interviews, how to get ready for interviews, how to answer interviews, and how to talk about your skills, which is really surprising for a cybersecurity training. As I said, I interview many candidates, but they simply don't know how to interview and they make so many mistakes that make them fail the interview process, which I talked about in detail in this video. Now, I know some of you may be wondering, well, this is a new certificate. HR filters and keywords will not recognize it. And I'm happy to tell you that this is the wrong way of thinking about things because this certificate goes through important foundational concepts in cybersecurity. You can put those skills in your CV and they 
they will pass the filter of HR. They will be sought after. For example, it goes over seams and detection tools. So you can write Splunk or you can write the particular detection tool that you practiced in this course in your CV. And in the interview, you get to showcase that skill. So don't get too caught up about keywords and HR filters. Yes, they exist, but there are ways to overcome that. And this course will teach you exactly that. The other thing that I found not many people are aware of is why Google, like Google is a search engine. They are not a cybersecurity company and you are wrong. If you've been paying attention, Google have actually acquired Mandiant, which is the leading cybersecurity incident response service provider. Some of the best incident responders in the world works at Mandiant. So Google have acquired a massive pool of talent and they're investing so much in cybersecurity. For the OG cybersecurity professionals, they will definitely know who Mandiant are. They will also know uh, tools that Mandiant have acquired, such as FireEye, Redline, and many, many more. So Google are very serious about cybersecurity. And my personal guess, this will not be the last cybersecurity certificate from Google. In fact, I think this is the beginning. I believe they will create something more advanced. So keep an eye on that. And this certificate can be your start. But what I want you to also remember is that while this certificate will teach you a lot about cybersecurity, you will still need to apply to jobs. You will need to apply to as many jobs as you can. Please don't think that you need 500 cybersecurity certifications and 200 years of experience. This certificate can actually help you land a job in cybersecurity. Yes, it's not going to be easy, but this course is a step in the right direction. And if you're wondering what to do after this certificate, my recommendation for you is to pick something practical and deep dive in it. Here in this video, I have many practical examples for you for certifications that you can do that will help you in your journey.